first thing I asked myself when I saw the GS500 was why did Roland include the little three-way toggle switch next to the tone control? The owner's manual explains that the switch has three sounds. Setting one, or normal pickup output. Setting two is a hard, low-cut sound. And setting three is acoustic, slightly attenuated highs and lows. I will play the three modes and you can decide how to describe them. In any case, I really appreciate it that the simple toggle switch adds a variety of sounds to the GS500, and I realized that this was helpful given that this guitar only has one pickup. Why does the GS500 have only one pickup? Because the second neck pickup has been replaced by a really great Moog type sustain system. There's actually a patent on file by Roland for this infinite sustain system. In addition to the traditional volume and tone controls, you'll notice multiple knobs with switches on the GS500. These are controls for the output of each section of the Paraphonic GR500 guitar synthesizer. You have level control for poly ensemble, bass, solo melody, and even the external synthesizer, plus master volume control. The red LEDs associated with each section work with the volume controls and on-off switch. When the volume is turned off in the guitar, the associated LED goes off on the GR500 and the brightness of the GR500 LED equates with the amount of volume. There was a remote for the GR500, the PC50, that basically duplicated these controls on the guitar. There were three presets, or banks, of the four volume control knobs. You could select between the three preset banks, or choose the control settings active on the guitar. These PC50s are very rare. There are two switches on the GR500 guitar, a remote switch and a portamento on-off switch. The remote switch is a dual function switch. It turns both the LFO modulation of the filter cutoff frequency on and off, and it also works as a basic on-off switch with an associated jack on the back of the GR500. This was designed to enable the player to turn external effects on and off with the switch on the guitar. Here's a bit of a curiosity. The large toggle switch on this guitar is a factory original, but it operates 90 degrees off the indicated axis. This switch works just like the same switch on modern guitars. In the middle position, both guitar and synth sound. In one position, guitar only, and the other position is synth only. I've seen several early model GS500s with this toggle switch in the same orientation. 